It's my favorite time of year. Do you know why this is my favorite time of year? That's right, it's winter time. I have my warm coat on, my brand new winter hat, a scarf, and some gloves. So I'm ready to go outside in the cold weather for a great snowy adventure. Would you like to come join me? Well, that's great. I'm snow excited. Let's go. Hmm, I wonder if it's snowing outside. Let's go look. Do you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from outside. Let's check it out. Look, it's snowing outside. Now it's really time for us to begin our winter adventures. Let's go check it out together. Today we're gonna to solve some word problems where we have to divide. But before we begin, let's review how to divide. When we divide, we always begin with the largest number. In this example, the largest number is 12. So it goes at the beginning of our equation. I made two groups. That's why I have two white circles. Finally, I'm going to share the tiny blue dots with each circle. Make sure that each circle has the same number of blue dots. In this case, each circle has six blue dots. Therefore, 12 divided by two equals six. You can also think of it as repeated subtraction. The middle of the division sign looks like a subtraction sign, so it's easy to remember. Start off with one circle. Put two dots in the circle. 12, which is the largest number, minus two equals 10. We have to keep subtracting two until we get to zero. So let's keep going. 10 minus two equals eight. Eight minus two equals six. 6 minus 2 equals 4. 4 minus 2 equals 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. How many times did we subtract 2? That's right, we subtracted 2 6 times, so 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Let's go build a snowman. We found six blue buttons so we can decorate our snowman. The buttons belong on the bottom two snowballs. How many buttons will go in each circle if we want each circle to have the same amount? Pause the video, write down your answer, and then unpause the video when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see what it looks like as we're sorting the buttons into equal groups. Put one button in the middle, one on the bottom, two in the middle, two on the bottom, three in the middle, and three on the bottom. We used all six buttons. So six buttons divided by two snowballs equals three buttons. Tip number one, you can check your answer by multiplying. Look at the last two numbers in the division problem. Does two times three equals six? Yes, it does. Since two times three equals six, your answer is correct. Hmm, I wonder if our snowman is gonna come alive like Frosty did in the book that I read. Hey, do you wanna play? Let's have a snowball fight. When you're having a snowball fight, it's very important to look out for flying snowballs. Oh no! Phew, I'm glad that's over. Four children wanted to have a snowball fight. If they made a total of 24 snowballs, how many snowballs did each child get? Pause the video and figure out the quotient or the answer to the problem. Unpause the video when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see what it looks like as we pass out all the snowballs. The first person already has a snowball, so that's one. Our next person needs a snowball, so that's two. Our third person already has a snowball, that's snowball number three. Our fourth person already has a snowball, that's snowball number four. Now that each person has a snowball, we go back to the first person and give them snowball number five. The next person gets snowball number six. The next person already has two snowballs, so that's number seven. And our fourth person gets snowball number eight. Now that each child has two snowballs, we can go a little faster. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24.
We're going to stop there because we only made 24 snowballs. Now as we look at the picture, we can tell exactly how many snowballs each child gets. How many did they get? That's right, each child has six snowballs. So our final equation should read 24 divided by four equals six snowballs. Great job, boys and girls. Watch out, here come the flying snowballs. Tip number two, if you didn't get the correct answer, try it a different way. Try repeated subtraction. 24 divided by four doesn't equal seven snowballs. Start by making a number line. It should go from zero to 24 because there are 24 snowballs. Now we're going to use repeated subtraction to finish our number line. Start on the 24 because it's your largest number. 24 minus four equals 20, put a dot on the 20. 20 minus four equals 16, put a dot on the 16. 16 minus four equals 12, put a dot on the 12. 12 minus four equals eight, put a dot on the eight. Eight minus four equals four, put a dot on the four. And four minus four equals zero, put a dot on the zero. You have to stop on the zero. Now you're going to connect the dots and jump like a frog. Notice how I labeled how many times I jumped each time I jumped for a total of six jumps. So it can't be seven snowballs. The answer has to be six because we had six jumps. So now we're going to fix the answer. 24 divided by four equals six jumps. It's time for our skiing lessons. Let's go learn how to ski. I hope I don't fall down a lot. 20 children wanted ski lessons. They were put into four equal groups so they could go down the beginner slopes or the mountains. How many skiers were in each group? Pause the video and figure out your answer. Simply draw a picture to match the word problem. I have 20 children in all. I have four equal groups with four mountains. And then you can see that we have five skiers on each slope. Great job, boys and girls. 20 divided by four equals five. Brr, it's freezing out here. Let's go take a break and have some delicious hot chocolate inside. Three children wanted hot chocolate. There were 12 marshmallows. How many marshmallows did each child get? Pause the video and figure out your answer. Watch the marshmallows fall into the cup so you can visualize the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many marshmallows are there in each cup? That's right, there are four in each cup. 12 divided by three equals four marshmallows in each cup. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Mmm, it is delicious. Thanks for joining us today as we learned how to divide. It was so much fun. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.